Okay, today I thought we'd play with this new toy I found on Amazon. It's a Attacker Intelligence Spray Robot, and it was the name that convinced me I had to get it, because I'm going, what the heck is a spray robot? I've got lots of smoking robots, uh, old ones from the 50s that used talcum powder to all the other ones that were battery operated and basically burned oil to smoke. This one, being the intelligence spray robot, I looked at the picture and I went, I bet that's an ultrasonic water fogger, and in fact it is. But the, the toy itself has many different functions. It has a program mode where you can program all the moves you want and then it will play those moves back. It uh, has uh, hand gesture sensing, which means you can move your hands to the left or right in front of it or forward and backward and then it will perform those functions. It of course has the spray function that it's talking about on the box, which is water. There's a cap right here, a button in the back that you push, you put water in and close it back up. So anytime that quits working, you just put more tap water in. No smell, no fuss, no muss. The biggest mess the kids can make is some water. Um, it also has for the younger kids uh, nursery rhymes, uh, plays music and dances. It has um, a storytelling mode where it tells two or three different stories. It has a science mode where it uh, d tells you different science facts. It um, has, I'm getting the remote. Uh, it has an ABC mode, which I'm assuming must teach you the ABCs. I don't know. It had a, uh, well, the, the book called it mic mode or talk mode or something like that. We'll look at the book in just a second. And, but basically, it makes kind of different robot sounds. I don't really know what's going on there. Everything it says and does seems to be in English. The uh, manual for it, which is right here, and is 30 pages long, um, is, in, in, is in five different languages, one of which is English. So it looks like English, German, French, Spanish. I don't know what the last one is. But... Um, it also comes with a bag of accessory. It comes with a screwdriver, which initially lets you remove the tamper-proof screw to put in the two AA batteries in the remote. And uh, I also found in a, the second video I did here, this same screwdriver is good for taking the entire toy apart. I've taken this entire robot apart to find out if the built-in rechargeable battery could be replaced. And I was very happy to see that everything inside there is on plug sockets. You can remove the screws off the back of it, remove the back, take the battery out, and if you buy another battery, you could then replace it should that battery ever go bad. On the box itself, here's all the information that is depicted there. Here they kind of talk about some of the functions. You can spray, demo, dance, popular science, they call it Magic Squad, but it's more of a music. Dancing, lights, you got your hand gestures. They have a little picture of the remote control with numbers, and all the numbers relate to these functions here, telling you what it does. Um, in the bag of accessories, since it has a built-in battery, it also comes with this charging cable. The large end, obviously, is a USB to go in, in my case I charged it off my laptop the small end goes in the back of the robot there is an LED in here that lights while it's charging and goes out when it's done charging and uh, along in that same bag they give you this handy dandy little way of sucking up water so you can put refill the, uh, the misting device on the top of the pack here, there's a button. If you push this button down, you can then lift this up. I would do it, but if I have it tipped so the camera can see what I'm doing, the water's going to spill out. Well, here, I'll try to do it without spilling the water out. <laughs> so push the button, you lift that up, see how there's a cap that seals? So you just put the water in there, of which there is, and when you're done, you just close it back up. As long as I got the robot in my hands, the main power switch is here on the back. Here's the charging port. Um, this is a resume button because the robot will go into sleep mode if it's left turned on but not played with. And you can bring it back out of the sleep mode by pushing that button. The uh, arms and legs are free. The kids aren't going to break it by moving them like I'm doing here. 
the way it walks is by two motors, a motor in this foot and a motor in this foot. So when they want to get a walking action, you would run this one, then they would run that one, and you can get the, the arms and legs moving. Or you can just scoot along with both legs the same. I kind of call that uh, the Gumby slide, because if you remember the old Gumby TV shows, it always just kind of zoom, zipped along. Uh, in the same bag, they give a plastic shield, which you can put on one of the arms or holes on the sides where you can plug these bits on. It also comes with uh, this gun attachment and it's spring-loaded and there's this uh, little handle right here that you can pull back and then this would shoot out. There's not very much spring tension but if you're going to give this to the really small kids, the ones that might enjoy the nursery rhymes and that kind of stuff you might want to just keep these, pull them out so that's not something they're going to poke in their eyes or try to swallow and choke on. This would be too big to be a problem, but this this might be for the really young kids. Because I see this as being a multi-age type toy. I mean, obviously a lot of the songs and dance things are aimed at really young children, but the programming and hand gesture modes, that might be aimed more at uh, the older kids. So inside the book, I went through and just highlighted to give you a rough idea why the book's so big. The yellow, that's just the English part. Here's everything repeated in the different languages. Just the English part, everything repeated in the different language. So you can see it would actually be a very small manual if it was just in English. But they made one universal manual that describes everything in great detail. And I think in order to do this, we're going to have to go down to the floor. Fortunately, out here in the robot hut, we have a lot of floor. So I'm going to, I'm going to aim this camera down. I don't know. I don't know how much down we need. Let's, uh, let's get over here. In fact, maybe, well, no, this will be fine. I think. I think this will be on power up. It uh, goes through a routine, which you can stop by pushing the button. Or on the remote, there's the same the same buttons on the remote. You can push to stop a routine. Hello, I am number three Robocop. I've super sense ability, able to sense your special orders. I can dance as well. Like I said, this is a long startup demo, which you can bypass. Go. Oh, so that would have been the end of uh, that demo. I now have the remote in my hands, and we can go through some of the other functions. Uh, while it's in this standby mode, apparently that's the hand gesture mode. And there's these sensors on the chest. So I moved it that way. I haven't been able to get it to go back yet. Um, moving your hand from his chest forward to make it go forward, but supposedly that should make it go back. But you can see. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't patient enough. You just hold it. Okay. Okay, so there's the uh, hand gesture mode. Then you have different ways of making it walk. Yeah, these, all these buttons on this side make it walk with uh, moving legs like this. And this side makes it glide like Gumby mode. So over here, if I push this turn button, well, turn's not a very good example. Let's try walking. I'm gonna push this walk button. Then this one appears to be backwards. This one should be turn. I should have turned the other way. 
There we go. And I guess this is another walk, but maybe it's a... Uh, I don't really see the difference between the two walks. Okay, so over here we have the same type things, except this is be Gumby mode. So let's push the walk on that. See how it just glides along, and then here's the reverse. And turn. Another walk. Let's see if we can see a difference. I don't really see the difference between those two walks, but that's fine. Um, up here it has a music thing, so I'm assuming that must be music or dancing. Okay, like I said, anytime you get somewhere you don't want to be, you can push this or stop. Well, let's push the music button again, see if it does a different song. You know, it's doing it slower. And we're losing him. I'm going to stop, turn. I'm trying to get it back on camera without walking over there. Okay, we sort of got it back on camera. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should go forward just a little bit more. Okay, well let's try a storybook thing. I'm, this looks like a book. Okay, he's gonna tell the story of my dog doesn't bite. Let's try the next story. The key and the wolf. Okay, well let's stop that. Let's, uh, science facts. Do you know how many continents and oceans are there on the Earth? There are seven continents and four oceans. The seven continents include Asia, Europe, North America, Let's try some different science facts. Okay, let's, enough science facts. Let's see what ABC does. Get the robot back in frame. Okay, um, I think this show, th there was a, a button that you can push on here. I believe it's this one down here for the uh, smoking function. I'm gonna give it a black background. There you go. Hey, look at that. That's just water vapor. There's no smell, there's no mess. It's not gonna stain anything. You don't have to worry about replenishing oil or anything like in all the old time toys. I'm, I'm putting it against my jacket and body because it's a dark background. If it's against a white background and it's a white mist, you don't see it. Uh, there's a, a demo mode up here where it dances and turns the spray mist on and off, which is pretty cool, but you're not going to be able to see the mist very well because of the white background. I can see it. The camera doesn't, though. See, every time that red light's on, it's shooting out mist, which is really cool. Again, with no smell and no uh, mess, it's a, a safe smoking robot for kids to play with. It's more environmental friendly. And I think that's where they came up with the intelligent spray robot. We would have called it intelligent mist or intelligent smoke robot, but whatever. So it's doing a little dance routine there. If it would ever get to where it turns back around again, Maybe it thinks that's forward. I'm going to... I'm going to hit the stop button. I think we've seen enough of that. I can't remember, did we already go through the program mode? If not, this button over here you push, then you can go through any of the movement buttons you want. Now I can program it. So let's say... Um, let's say go back, then turn, then 
go forward, then turn, and then to play it, you push the same button again. So, I did it. Let's um, turn again. Let's get it facing more this way. I could have programmed it with the glide ones, so I'm going to push this again or will it run the program? I don't know. Okay, so let's go forward, turn, go back, turn. So this would be the Gumby gliding mode. One other neat feature that this has is these uh, speaker things and plus and minus is you can control the volume level. So if your kid was playing with a lot and it was driving you crazy, you can actually turn the volume all the way off or anywhere in between. So volume up and down, you can adjust it. So besides the main stop, you've got volume control. And what haven't we covered? That button, I guess. Basically different uh, robot sounds every time I push that button. So there you have it. The uh, Attacker Intelligent Spray Robot. I'll put a link to where I found it on Amazon. It was uh, like $39.99, so $40. Bucks. Um, this is still October, so I'm assuming that if you ordered it now, you could definitely get it in time for Christmas. And I think since it covers such a wide uh, age group, it might be good for a lot of different kids. Kids that just like learning programming, kids that like doing hand gestures, kids that just like music, kids that uh, are young enough they want to hear the nursery rhymes and stuff. You can do all that stuff. Basically, he was going to go into an automatic power down mode because we haven't played with him. The little routine he did right there was to get the attention of any anybody that might be in the room. And if you don't play with again, then X amount of time, he actually shuts down. To wake him up, you can either push this button or the button on his chest. See, he's still trying to get your attention. And if you're actually really done playing with him, then of course you're supposed to turn off the main switch on his back.